Let's go eat. Yes. Birria is like, um, it's usually made with goat, but it's mostly made with beef now. And it's like a stewed, it's like a stewed beef. So a lot of times I'll make a soup with it, but lately it's been popular as a taco. So it's just like a very flavorful stewed beef. Provecho. Worth a stop. Oh my god. That's really good. You're gonna love it. Oh. That was amazing. <laughs> I think that was some of the best tacos I've ever had. Yeah, those were amazing tacos. All kinds of tacos, like between fish tacos and all all kinds of tacos. Those were up there in the top, like top two, top three tacos. So we're not big fans of Guerrero Negro, but we are big fans of this place. I'd come <laughs> yeah. back. And we small talked with the guy who was cooking them and he's a really nice guy, really friendly people, amazing food. So good that Lindsay decided to get a little to go for dinner tonight. Yeah. So <laughs> rather than eating tacos in the square in San Ignacio at a nice little mom and pop shop, we're gonna eat our own parrilla tacos. <laughs> but first we have to get there. So we've got about two hours to drive now. Gonna stop for gas. So we're all topped off for tomorrow. And then we're good to go to Mule uh -huh. in the morning. So we're gonna go now. We got one more checkpoint. It's the anxious checkpoint. It's the one where if anything happens, it always happens in San Ignacio. That's the checkpoint. It's just north of San Ignacio on the yeah, one. It's, it's known to be brutal. It's known and of <laughs> course people only report out a lot of bad stuff that happens and people don't report the good experiences. So of all the places that get bad reviews, this, this is the one that gets them. And we had a, I don't want to say bad experience, but we came through at night when we shouldn't have and it didn't go so well for us on the way south. On the way north, no problem. Yeah, they was, searched us like top to bottom yeah. in the south, like everything. Yep, that was where we decided we needed to have some kids with us just to <laughs> look like we're responsible instead of looking like we're just vagabonds, um, which is what we looked like before with a truck camper. No, and I mean... Our friend Scott Mullis said they had two boys and they flew right through there because they looked responsible. So um, <laughs> maybe I should shave before we get there. Maybe. No, I'm not shaving no. before we get there. <laughs> we're going to hit the road again. So we've just made it to San Ignacio, or almost to San Ignacio, and we just went through the checkpoint, and thank goodness it was not as bad as we expected it to be. They pretty much almost just waved us right on through. So, whoo, that was like a huge relief, because last time we went through there, we told y'all we were searched up and down, so. That was a relief, so just if you go through there, go during the day, <laughs> not at night and just be very kind to answer their questions. He just asked, you know, where we we're from, where we were going, blah, blah, blah. Simple stuff and we got right on through. Shh, it's nap time. We got into San Ignacio and we both took a nap and now it's dark outside. That's what happens when you wake up at 5 a.m. or whatever and drive for eight or whatever hours, anyway. We're in San Ignacio, gonna shut down for the night. We did bring some extra birria home for dinner and uh, we'll maybe make some tacos a little bit later. And then uh, I'll fill you in on everything tomorrow morning. It's a really cool little town and we love stopping here. We're camped out on the square, it's a really cool place. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. 
got up early with the sun and uh, it's because we're only going to be in San Ignacio for a little while, like an hour or two, um, just long enough for coffee and breakfast and getting everything ready in the RV to travel. Um, but this is one of our favorite places. There's a lot to love about Baja, a lot to love, a lot of great places to go, a lot of places we've not even been that we know we need to go at some point. Uh, but San Ignacio is an oasis. Uh, it's literally this lush, fertile area in the middle of the desert. It's got a little river running through it and pretty much everything grows in San Ignacio. The climate is amazing. Uh, the people are incredibly nice and uh, you can actually camp in the square. But San Ignacio is like trapped in the past. So it was founded in the 1700s and westernized through Jesuit missionaries that came through. And so that's where I'm standing right now is they built this beautiful, beautiful mission um, that stands as the focal point in town, looks out over the square and kind of sets the tone for the rest of the town. There's only about 600 people that live here uh, and it is the headquarters or the base camp, if you will, for being able to go out to the Laguna San Ignacio, which is one of the best places to see gray whales in the spring. Um, there's also trips that you can take off into San Francisco mountain range and there's uh, cave paintings and petroglyphs and uh, trail riding you can do. There's all kinds of great stuff to do outside of town. But town is just for relaxing, enjoying, taking in the beauty, eating delicious food, and uh, yeah, we will be back. We never spend more than a night here. Um, usually it's coming or going. It's not usually a destination for us, but on our way back, because we don't have the time now, we're gonna make it a destination and we're gonna spend a couple days here, slowing life down and just relaxing and enjoying. Right now, we're gonna go make coffee. We're gonna get ready for the morning and we've gotta be in Mulahe by 11 o'clock so we can deliver this tire so it can be uh, taken off to the person who needs it. And uh, hopefully the family will appreciate that uh, we're leaving this place and we're traveling so fast because it is, uh, it is a beautiful place. So add it to your list of things to do and places to visit in Baja. We just arrived to beautiful Mulehe. It is an oasis in the middle of the desert on the Sea of Cortez. And uh, we love it here. We are gonna spend quite a few weeks here. Um, last time we came in, last time we came through here, we had our truck camper, which was quite a few feet shorter than this rig. This rig is 31 feet. And the campground that we love to stay at is through town and along the river. So we have to go through the narrow streets of Mulahe to get there. Um, we're not any wider than a normal RV. We had friends that came through in their Class C. It was shorter than ours, but still the same width. So I think we will be fine. Um, we just can't do any tight turns, but it's pretty much a straight shot through the middle of town to get there. And I think we'll be okay. I've seen quite a few uh, bigger um, travel trailers, fifth wheels, come and stay at Don Chano's. That's the name of the RV park. And we're pretty very excited to be here and we will show you around. That's the spot on the floor where the tire was Thank for the last week. Thank goodness it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. We love helping people out. 
but that tire was huge. It took up a lot of space. It took up our whole living room. We had nowhere we could mount it outside because we weren't planning on having to mount it outside. We mounted all the other things we needed to. So long story short, the tire is delivered. We just made the handoff with the gentleman who's driving the rest of the way to Loretto to help the family out. So um, we did our part. Always opportunities for you to do your part. Simple, simple thing. Um, yes, it took up space and whatever, but it was no big deal in the long run. Helping people out in Baja is very important. We might have something break and we might have to post like, hey, can somebody bring this down yeah. or whatever if you're coming down to Mulahe. So we're in Mulahe. We are ready to call it a day for driving. We're done. We won't be driving again for a couple weeks. Yes. Nice. It is Thanksgiving know. Day. They have a restaurant on site with turkey. So while we were thinking Danny's tacos, yeah, we might be, we might be turkey. doing turkey. <laughs> I think Danny's tacos sounds better. That's like our little mini. Yeah, it is. Thanksgiving it's our tradition. It's our tradition. We don't have any traditions, so no. so maybe we'll do Danny's <laughs> for sure. I don't know, but what I do know is this is the end of this episode. Thanks for being a part of our journey. Thanks for continuing to watch and support us along the way. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. Like this video. Leave us a positive comment. Any questions you may have. We will answer every single one, as long as it's positive. If it's negative, delete. I like doing that. <laughs> we will see you when we see it, which will be showing you about how we set up camp here in Mulahe for the next couple weeks and how we enjoy this town, what we do, and how we just really, really love Mulahe. So we'll see you in the next episode.